Uh, well, first of all, genre, as, as we've been suggesting, can uh, be applied to any kind of uh, artifact or any kind of um, a statement that can be viewed as a meaningful utterance. So it's not uh, immediately tied to a text. Uh, the uh, another difference is that uh, when you start thinking of that uh, the boundedness of genre is different from um, text unless you specify that it's a single complete text. Um, sometimes when people talk about texts they are talking about um, uh, stretches of text <laughs> that could be start anywhere and end anywhere rather than um, being perceived as a, as, as a complete statement. Yes, I would also um, distinguish between the notions of text and genre. Um, uh, genre is, as Professor Bazerman emphasized, a matter of social agreement. Text tends to be a particular material, a way of materializing uh, a, uh, an utterance or a um, stretch of verbal discourse. Um, I, I, to me, they're, they're designations in two very different conceptual realms. I, I would not use them interchangeably at all. Can, I'd like to add something. Uh, remember the third thing <laughs> okay. I was going to say? And that is, I, I realize in Portuguese, text genre is, um, a genre textual mm -hmm. is uh, meant to set, set it against gender in English. Um, but when you use the word um, text genre in English, uh, it sets it against oral genres or uh, uh, genres in other media. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And uh, certainly there are characteristics of textual genres that are distinctive um, from, let's say, painted genres. Uh, but uh, uh, they are all forms of genre and uh, you're really discussing then the particular affordances of textuality versus um, graphic arts, for example.